Welcome back to another build video. Now that the metal fabrication and interior are finished, we're going to remove the interior from the car before we do paint. We often do the interior first because it's more efficient along the build and it also cuts down on the opportunity to damage freshly painted surfaces when we're working on installing that new interior. The customer wanted a clean engine bay, so we're going to shave the firewall. We'll start by welding up the holes, welding up the seams, and then we'll bodywork it smooth. We will use a fiberglass reinforced filler on the first coat. It's a little stronger, a little bit more dense, so it'll tend to shrink a little less than the other fillers we use. So we're excited to see how it comes out. Now to protect the bottom, we're going to go ahead and spray some sim bed liner. That way when the client's out driving, everything will be protected from rock chips and debris that's on the road. Now that the bodywork is finished and the other carriage is sprayed with SEM bed liner, Dan's going to spray a coat of BSF epoxy primer. This will give everything one nice even surface when he goes to do basin plate. With the doors, fenders, hood, and deck lid removed, we're going to spray two coats of BASF refinished base coat. This allows us to get even coverage on the jams and hard to reach areas.
two coats of base has dried overnight, we can hang the doors and fenders and spray two more coats of base. This will give us even coverage over the entire vehicle and avoid any tape lines in the jams. At this point, the Chevelle will get five coats of clear, giving us enough material for the wet sanding process. We'll then bake the entire vehicle for 45 minutes at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Then let it cure overnight before we go to wet sanding. To remove orange peel and get that slick show shine, we're going to wet sand the entire body and painted panels with 600, 800, 1000, 1500, and 2000 grit sandpaper by hand. Then the final grit will be 3000 and then 8000 with the DA. This entire process can take anywhere between 100 and 120 hours. The final step will be the red stripe that'll travel the length of the hood and onto the cowl. We'll measure the tape off the design, then spray three coats of red base coat and then five coats of clear coat. The hood and cowl area will be wet sanded a final time, then the entire vehicle will be buffed with compound using a wool pad and finally polished with a black pad and mirror glaze polish. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card, or you can click on the link in the bio.